G'day there again everybody. Just wanted to do another update with this simple wireless electricity system. Um, I was playing around here this morning. I've got a lead alum battery hooked up here. This is my best one. Uh, I do have some multimeters hooked up today. Here we have the current voltage in my battery of 1.5 and the current amp draw of the bigger 3055 transmitter hooked up. Now bear in mind this amp drawer is actually pulsing really fast. Um, that's not really that accurate. It's a rough average. It's, there, there'll be peaks in there that are a lot over 20 milliamps. But that's pretty close to the baseline between the peaks and the peaks won't have long duration. So it's a um, average. It's a, it's a very poor average. But it gives us some idea to go on. Um, now what I was doing, it's going to be hard to position this so you can see everything at once. Um, I was playing around, I've got the multimeters a long way away to try and reduce Wi-Fi interference. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get this so you can see both. Alright, what I did, I'll show you here and I'll show you on the um, meters. Um, I just picked this one up earlier. No battery in it. This is the first one I made with the 2N222. Two? Four twos there. I think that's an A with, uh, on the end of it as well. Um, anyway, I was just marking around and I just threw that on there and I noticed my voltage picked back up and my amp drawer dropped off. It seems to resonate with the second coil and reduce the load. Now there's no battery in that, but it is, it, I checked it with the scope and it is actually firing the transistor and pulsing it's a repeater. And just to prove that, you can set that on there. And look, I've only got one of those two LEDs lit. The other ones might have something really dim going on in there, but even I can hardly see that. And throw the repeater on top, and oh look, the second LED lights up. No battery. None whatsoever. So there you go, I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, if we do it that way, it absorbs all the power. It's a blocker as well. And they're just in a feedback loop to each other. Now, let's see, I'll try and get it a bit closer. Hopefully we won't get any meter interference. There we go, you can see both those meters now. And I'll slip this one out of here. Look at that, voltage drops, amp draw goes up, that's milliamps. And back down again, I knocked my positive probe loose. I'm going to sit there nicely for me. There we go. So how's that, hey? And same thing happens when you put a load on. Obviously with the load it's drawing more power. If I sit this guy on top, let go of the power draw goes back down again and the load runs brighter. So I thought that was a really nice find. Um, I'll just quickly mention I'm having some really good success with this lead allen battery too. Alright, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.